I can only imagine who would do this. I came to the city for an interview and one last night with everyone before driving back to school. We came back to my car in good spirits, only to find the window smashed and my backpack stolen. I keep thinking about what was taken. My old Walkman, my journal, digital camera, a pair of comfy gym shorts I use for pajamas, my toothbrush. Oh, and a tie. I hope whoever stole this stuff needed it more than I do. Although, I'm not too sure how much my journal or my old Walkman are going to go for on the black market. It's my favorite. That thing was holding on by a thread. Yeah, some of that stuff definitely should have been replaced a long time ago. I've been wearing that same pair of gym shorts since I played basketball in high school. The tie looked pretty crummy, but I knew I would have to wear it since my mom got it for me for no, my birthday. thanks, Mom. I, I like it, really. But I'm glad I had that one, because I left all my others at my parents' house. I couldn't interview for my dream job without a tie. I guess I can be pretty lucky when I need it. But not all of the time. What's up? Hey. How was school? Wouldn't know. What? I wasn't feeling well today. You look fine to me. Yeah, well by the time I was feeling better I figured I'd miss all the good classes so I went out and looked for a job instead. You're kidding me, right? You should be in school. And besides, the kind of places that would hire a kid like you are sketchy as fuck. So what? I just want to have some cash to spend for once. Such an idiot. I'm sick of wearing all your shitty old clothes. You better go tomorrow. Anyways, I got this at work today. I figured you'd want to look through it. Thanks. No worries. Yeah, it's been collecting dust in our lost and found for months now. I doubt whoever lost it will be too worried about me taking it. Lost and found. What am I, five years old? Hey, do you think Mom will be around later? I should probably have her sign a sick note or something. Is that a serious question? Yeah, I guess I'll have to forge another one. Hey, can I get that camera? I want to try to sell it today. I can do it. I just want to hold on to it for a little longer. All right, but don't forget to do it. We got to pay the bills soon. Okay, I won't. Part of me wants to think this thief is just a victim of his circumstances and doing what he has to. But when you think about how many thefts and robberies happen around the world every minute, every day, it's hard not to believe that most of them are just assholes. Yo. What the fuck are you doing here? What? You're supposed to be at school. Oh, yeah. Looks like I know who's not winning the perfect attendance award this year. What do you think? This is all some kind of joke? Look, I forgot. I'm sorry. I was busy selling back the okay, camera. What the fuck are you doing with that box? I just thought some of these things should get back to their owners. Are you fucking serious? I thought they'd want their stuff back, and since some of the bags had names... You're wasting your time with this shit. If people didn't want to lose their stuff, then they should pay better attention to it. But it's still theirs. How do you know they do the same for you? Maybe they'd call you a thief. I didn't do anything. I know That's it's... That's not what they're going to think. Look, I know it was you. I know you've been stealing all this stuff. What are you talking about? You think I believe you just found all this shit? Look, you've been too busy stealing and working to realize I'm not just some dumb kid anymore. So if I want to go out and get a job, yeah, I'm going to do it. And if I want to send this stuff back to its owners, you can't stop me. Look. Look. 
for all these people know, their shit has been thrown out or smashed to pieces. And if you don't cut it out, the rest of it will be. But then again, who has been called an asshole at least one time in their life? Hey. Look, I I'm sorry I burst out like that. I just didn't want you to know what I was doing. You understand, right? I guess. It's been tough trying to pay for stuff. Once I realized that mom wasn't going to be any help, I started taking stuff. So I wanted to get a job to try to help you out. I know, but I didn't want you ending up like me. Working and stealing just to get by. You're better than I am, and that's why I never said nothing about it, okay? Okay. Okay, well, what I did wasn't cool, so I'm sorry. It's all right. I won't try to send people their stuff back. No. No, I, I think you should do it. You're a better kid than I ever was, and... I mean, that's not saying much, but this just might be the job for you. You sure? Sure. But on one condition. That you go to school. Alright, I'll be sure to go tomorrow. No, I don't mean just tomorrow. I... You can only miss when you have a really good reason. Like, I'm talking, I can't go to school because I got no feet. No hands might be worse. Taking notes would be a bitch. Yeah, well, maybe not that bad, but you gotta have a good reason. Alright, I will. Well, I guess we should start trying to find some more boxes, right? The thing I lost that I can't stop thinking about isn't my toothbrush, but that ugly case thing covering it. It's the kind of thing you don't think twice about, but now I remember how long I've had it for. Hurry up, it's time to go. Okay. I brought it to my first sleepovers as a kid, even though I'd guzzle it down about a half a dozen sodas instead of brushing my teeth. I brought that case with me on every trip I've ever taken. Hey, really glad you came over. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a part of my fondest memories with my closest friends and family. That little piece of plastic. I'll be right back.
Thank you.